Hey everyone, this is March of 2019, and the reason that I date this video is that we have been having a lot of rain in Northern California, and the rain seems to linger. So it's, uh, it seems to me as if the Pacific Northwest has moved to Northern California, and one of the reasons is the Rosby Wave, where the jet stream has really changed its pattern this year. Uh, and I wanted to show you that on the computer to show you how the low pressure gets trapped in the Pacific Ocean, and it just seems to linger there for weeks. In other words, the jet stream is not pushing it toward the east, the westerlies, and the jet stream within that. Uh, and so it just seems to linger here for months. So let's take a look now at the computer. Okay, so normally you see the uh, westerlies track from the west to the east. Those take the storms that are out in the Pacific Ocean off the Aleutian Islands and move them toward the east coast. However, this year has been different. All right, so normally we see this storm out here moving from the west to the east, but right now it's just stalled. And so I'll show you some, some of this in motion. All right, so here it is in motion now. Uh, there's a little flicker because one of the images is missing, but this low pressure system is moving moisture up into Oregon and Washington. It's delaying the moisture coming into the uh, where I live, right in the Sacramento area. Okay, so the Rosby wave number one is a meander in the jet stream. And that's caused by the rotating earth and these two different cold and warm air masses. You can see the cold air mass in blue and the warmer air mass in kind of a reddish color. Uh, and as the air spins, it, it makes a kink in the jet stream here, which would be that line between those two air masses. And this is really typical of what's been happening this year, uh, where we get a, a huge blob of cold air moving into the Midwest. And, and um, unfortunately, we've been getting these lows just cut off that makes our days quite gray here in Northern California. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up with the Rosby wave, but I did want to mention that has created some severe weather here in 2019. We've had very cold air masses coming through the middle of the country all the way to Alabama. We've even had a tornado here early in the spring, uh, which caused mass destruction in the southern part of the United States. And we'll likely see more of that this year. 